Entering hospice care can be one of the most difficult stages in life for both a patient and the family. But a group in Scott County is helping to make their experience a little brighter. Claire Crouch has more in this Making a Difference. A bouquet of daisies, a vase full of gladiolas. Pink is pretty with purple or white or anything you want to do. No matter the flower, the person getting them feels special. When someone brings you flowers, it just puts a smile on your face. Oh, you just put it in front. That's the idea behind Friends with Flowers in Scott County. Each week, they bundle up donated flowers from Kroger, local funeral homes, or today, Gray Arbor Farms. It takes about an hour, hour and a half. It's messy. You know, the cleanup is half of it and then hand deliver them to hospice patients and nursing homes all across the county. We want to make their experience and their life matter down to every little day. Carrie Williams got the idea 13 years ago from a group in North Carolina, and she thought her community could benefit as well. When you are bedridden, you know, you're isolated and so are the caretakers. She says the weekly visits are a highlight not only for the patients, but also their families, adding a little humanity to what otherwise can be a difficult time. They're ready to talk about their life, all their experiences, their children, their grandchildren. The man who started the first program called Friends with Flowers Angels Work, but William says they're not just spreading joy, they're getting it in return. I feel like I get more out of it than maybe even the patients. In Scott County, Claire Crouch, LEX 18 News. Friends with Flowers is a completely free service run solely on donations. If you'd like to volunteer, donate, or just learn more about it, head over to our website, lex18.com.